Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So in today's video we're gonna cover the daily TA about Bitcoin and also we're gonna have a look on some uh, altcoin especially Ethereum and Chainlink. So let's start first here on the Bitcoin price in the one hour time frame because I still see here a possible dump incoming and here in the one hour time frame it looks like that we are forming a similar pattern like we had on the S&P 500 mini futures so currently in the one hour it looks like that we are forming here this possible descending triangle which should break out to the downside and take us towards our support here at around nine thousand dollar on the s p 500 we had on friday a similar pattern but it broke out to the upside we had this fake out so we had this retest of the new resistance at around 3140 and we immediately got rejected and we're back into the support of this descending triangle and it also looks like that we could break out here to the downside as well so we also have to keep an eye what the s p 500 mini futures are going to do as soon as they start trading again but here on the Bitcoin price I'm expecting here also a breakout to the downside and possibly even here also a fake out possible here towards the 9580 resistance and there we have to see if also here we are getting rejected and then start again the dump towards the $9,000 or are we able to break here this $9,580 resistance in case that here we're gonna see a possible fake out like in the S&P mini futures and here we are getting rejected that might be a good opportunity to open a short position if you plan to trade that with a short so currently I'm keeping an eye here in the one hour where we're gonna break out from this triangle here because we also have the RSI trading below the 50 stochastic is in neutral territory but shifted to the downside so also here I'm expecting a breakout to the downside just based on the RSI but of course we could see a possible retest of the resistance here possibly also fake out before we see a possible retest of $9,000 and also if we go over to the Bollinger Band here you can see that we're trading on the lower end so also here in theory we could easily drop here towards 9260 MACD is still flat here so let's see what will happen next I think we're gonna see a big overshoot to the downside here if the dump is really coming up here without any fake outs here to the upside so currently in the lower time frames I'm still a bit more bearish than bullish it could change at any time of course but currently I just see too many bearish signs so I just don't see why we should have here a big pump coming up pretty soon also here in the four hour you can see that we're trading below all the moving averages we have the 20 currently acting as a resistance and is perfectly also lining up with our resistance line here at 9350 rsi is also trading below the 50 level and the stochastic is also in neutral condition so also here we could have a lot of room left to the downside and also here you can see this yellow line that is the main support for for quite some time now which is currently at around nine thousand dollar should hold the price in case of a big drop if we're gonna start to trade below nine thousand dollar possibly also test here eight thousand seven hundred dollar where also the 20 weekly moving average is lining up there we should see latest a bounce because if we're gonna lose also this level then i think the big dump towards 8k and lower will start but currently we are still safe nothing happened so far just in the lower time frames it looks like that we should be in here for another leg to the downside to test possible support levels and if we have a look also in the Bollinger Band here similar like in the one hour we are trading in the lower part and also here in theory we could go towards $9,200 MACD is still shifted to the downside but also here in case that we have a possible fake out to the upside towards $9,500 so at the top of the Bollinger Band here in the four hour I think maybe there we could bring the MACD here into a bullish cross but as I told you be careful in case that we are seeing a fast pump here towards 9500 because also before a big dump there is a high chance that first the price goes quickly up and down to liquidate and stop out the most short positions and now let's go back to the bitstamp chart and open up the daily time frame 
because here we are starting to trade below the 50 daily moving average which is bearish so since we close now this first daily candle below the 50 daily moving average i'm waiting here for a confirmation so as long as we are starting to close daily candles below the 50 daily moving average this makes me even more bearish and that's why i think currently we could be in for a big move to the downside also the rsi is starting to trade below the 50 level the stochastic is currently in oversold condition so the thing is that right now we have to see a big pump and start to trade again above the 50 and even better above the 20 daily moving average so this could be a fake out same like we had a couple of times already here in the past but latest next week we should see here the price starting to trade again above these moving averages otherwise we could be definitely shifted here to the downside and then we should keep an eye here on the 200 daily moving average at 8250 right now and if we go over to the bollinger band here in the daily also here you can see that you're trading in the lower end so also here we could easily go towards nine thousand dollar and here the middle line between nine thousand four hundred up to nine thousand five hundred eighty could act as a resistance in case of an attempt here of the bulls to push the price again to the upside macd is also shifted to the downside so here also in the daily it is starting to look again more bearish than bullish so that's why guys make sure that you're ready for all scenarios of course if you don't want to trade with a long or with a short make sure that you took a little bit out of profits in case that the price is really going towards eight to six thousand five hundred dollar then you are able to buy back in some cheaper bitcoins and also you're doing very nice profits only with this buying and selling in and from fiat but if you don't want to sell and you keep your bitcoins with you but you think the price will go lower then maybe think about to open a short position here over on bybit and now we can go over to the weekly time frame because here you can see that we could be in for a retest here of the 50 and 20 weekly moving average which currently is here between 8700 down to 8600 dollar the 200 weekly moving average is lining up down here at 6000 dollar this is really the worst case scenario in my opinion if we really see a big sell off here but in order to go that low i think also in the stock market we would need to have a big dump so only bitcoin i don't think that will go to these levels again unless we really see also the stock market completely collapsing again so here the RSI is also above the 50 everything is still okay in the weekly time frame so that's why I'm telling you as long as we're closing weekly candles above the 20 weekly moving average everything is okay and we're still shifted to the upside and possibly also break this main resistance here very soon but in case that we are starting to close candles below the 20 weekly moving average then we could be in here for some more sell-off possibly down to the 0.618 fib line here at around six thousand four hundred dollar and then have the big recovery back up and possibly also break the main resistance we would have a perfect inverse head and shoulders pattern and then the move to the upside will be huge and you definitely don't want to miss out that move and now before we going over to the altcoins we also have a look quickly on the weekly time frame here in the bollinger band because also here it is still looking very bullish we are trading here in the upper area so also here in theory we should bounce somewhere here between 9000 down to 8200 dollar to the upside and the potential target would be here at around eleven thousand three hundred dollar based here on the bollinger band in the weekly but in case that we're going to lose here the support of around eight thousand two hundred dollars so the 200 daily moving average we could easily drop down here towards five thousand four hundred dollar again i don't think we will reach those levels but it is possible macd is also still shifted to the upside so you can see here in the weekly time frame we are still very bullish and now we can go over into the daily time frame and have a quick look also on some altcoins because their formations currently could also be a leading indicator what will happen next on the bitcoin price because currently ethereum is also pumping here we are in this downwards moving channel now for many weeks and you can see that also here we are having this green line as a perfect support and currently we are testing it and we're also coming into the end here so at the top of this uh, big channel that we were in now for many weeks so we're gonna see here a big breakout to the upside or to the downside in my opinion more likely to the downside because it looks like that we are topping out also here on ethereum and now also the 20 daily moving average is starting to act as a resistance so we need here a big move to the upside and also break here this 250 dollars on ethereum in order to see new highs here 
and also get out of this downwards moving channel otherwise if we break out here to the downside and possibly also close a daily candle below here the 220 dollar level then be ready to see prices again here towards the 200 daily moving average at 180 four dollar even down here to the 0.618 at 150 dollars this would be like my entry where i would start to scale in possibly even down here towards the bottom here of this uh, big channel that we are in currently this would be down here at around 50 dollars i don't think ethereum will go that low again but here the 0.618 fib line here at 150 dollars up to the 200 daily at 184 dollars is a very possible to come in case of a breakout here to the downside and if we go over to litecoin here you can see that we already broke out to the downside from this support area we also had before here a huge week to the downside which also created a lower low so i don't know if we should give some significance to that move here it is very crazy but it's there and if we're gonna see something similar also on the other coins or if this was a leading indicator or something then also maybe on the other coins we're gonna create lower lows and this could be really bearish for the long time frames because that could mean that we're gonna stay for more time in these downwards moving channels and if we go over to xrp here also we had a nice support line we broke out to the downside and currently we are consolidating again and forming this possible falling wedge which could break out here to the upside because xrp sometimes is completely not correlating to all the crypto space so let's see what xrp will do i'm holding also a little bit of xrp so i'm watching currently also what this coin is doing because here we could see a possible decoupling in case that we break out here to the upside and the rest of the market is falling but also here you can see that currently Currently we are trading below all the moving averages here in the daily so in theory also here we have the 20 daily 50 and 200 acting as a resistance so also here even though we could be here in a bullish pattern I think most likely we also here we're gonna break out to the downside BSV also here we broke out to the downside and you can see that currently we are acting again below all the moving averages here the 20 daily is giving us resistance and if we go over to Monero here we had also a possible rising wedge currently it's breaking out to the downside and Chainlink had a great performance here we topped out currently at $4.63 and also here we had a breakout to the downside currently forming another possible rising wedge the 20 daily is also giving us resistance so also here I'm expecting another leg to the downside possibly to test the 200 daily moving average here at $3.15 so let's see what Chainlink is also doing because Chainlink so far had a really great performance and I'm looking for a buy and here also on this coin because so far I don't own chain link but I'm planning to buy some as soon as we're gonna have a possible dump here towards my target here between the 200 daily moving average and here the 0.382 fib line at around two dollar sixty all right guys and with that said I'm gonna wrap it up for now so you see that I have a bit mixed feelings currently and I'm still not in a trade I think that most likely I'm gonna open a short position if we're gonna see a retest of 9500 or something like that because currently I'm still more bearish than bullish I hope it's gonna change very soon but at the moment I'm a bit more bearish than bullish and remember that if you also want to take advantage of these big pumps and dumps that we are seeing you can trade this always over on Bybit because Bybit so far has the best exchange in my opinion very high liquidity very safe and also very easy trading and if you need an account here over on Bybit you can use the sign up link that you find down below here in the video description because with my link you can get some sign up bonuses up to 90 dollars and if you want to trade on multiple exchanges with different trades you can also use the other sign up links that you find down below here in the video description for femex primex bt and btr on all of those exchanges you can trade with leverage and using my sign up links you can get some sign up bonus so definitely go and check them out if you're interested in trading and also make sure to join our free Discord trading chat. The chat is completely for free. Everyone is welcome. And I'm doing the live streams over on Twitch. So make sure also to join the Twitch channel. 
So thank you very much for watching guys. Leave a like if you like the content and if you have any questions just put it down below here in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel. We do daily TA videos and also you can participate to the Bitcoin giveaway that I do with every 500 subscribers. So thank you very much for your support guys and we see us all in the next one. Bye.